Joining us now is a former New Orleans Saints wide receiver, played with Dallas, played with Baltimore, Kansas City, four years, nine-year veteran, played with New Orleans back in 06, 07, and part of 08, and that is Terrence Copper, who joins us. You came at a very challenging time. You came, You were signed September 3rd of 06. You were signed right before they signed you off of waivers, right before the season. You know, post-Katrina, no preseason you know, games at home and your first two on the road. Do you remember, kind of think back to some of the challenges that this area was, was going through? You know what? Once I got there, so once I got to training camp, first thing I remember about training camp, we was in Mississippi. It was hot. That's the yeah. first thing I remember <laughs> when, I, when I got to training camp. I felt like, I was like, oh, my goodness. I don't know. Matter of fact, it wasn't training camp. We had just got to New Orleans, and it was so humid. And I was like, oh, my goodness, I don't know if I'm even going to make this team. They're going to cut me after this first day because I had no energy. I wasn't used to that type of humidity down there, uh, even though we was in Dallas, but Dallas had an indoor facility. But when I got to New Orleans, we was practicing outside, even though we had an indoor facility. But that was the first thing I remember once I got there. But once I actually got to, got to the city and actually got a chance to meet some people in the city, even though we was going through what was going through with uh, post-Katrina, it was just amazing atmosphere. Like the people, I love the people in New Orleans. To this day, that's my favorite city to go to. But I just I just remember, of course, the challenges we had to go through. But I just remember the people. That's what stood out to me the most, the people, the people of New Orleans. Well, football is, is part of the – it's not just part of the community. It's part of their souls. And you yes. saw that, and you were part of it when they opened the Superdome back in September of 06 and that Falcons game and – you can talk to many people who live here still, and, and the hair will raise up on their arms. That must have been because for you and really every all the players, like even Reggie Bush and, and all the mm-hmm. draft class that year, they'd never, ever played a game in the Superdome because of the preseason being away. So that's not just a, a game. That's their first experience, like yours, I imagine, since you haven't played there in Dallas. Your first experience of New Orleans Saints football is that game. Yes, and – and one thing I remember the most about that game, of course, was the energy. But I remember grown men boo-hoo crying oh, yeah. because of everything that was going on. Uh, you had people that lost their lives in the Superdome uh, during the Katrina time. You know, so it was very emotional. And that's the one thing I remember, just the emotions that was going on, the electricity in the stadium once we once kicked off. And then once uh, Gleason got the block punt, it was over from there. It was over. You weren't you, you weren't on any special. Were you on the sidelines? You weren't on any special teams at that point, were you? I, no, I was I was on special teams. I was actually trying to get to that punt, but Deloach got to it before I got to it. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, uh, I mean, t- where were you in the alignment? Because Gleason's, if you're on the defense, kind of he kind of stunts from the right up the middle. Where, where were you? Mm-hmm. I was on the left side, so if you're actually looking at, if you're looking at the punter, I was on the left side. Yeah, on on the New Orleans left, and once Gleason once Gleason blocked it, me and Deloach was in the race trying to get to it, and and Deloach got there before I did. <laughs> and so he's the he's the <laughs> trivia answer instead of Terrence Copper, right? Because exactly. I mean that's what it is. It's Brian Milne who recovered the Rams fumble. It's it's Deloach who recovered it for the touchdown. I mean, just that's amazing. I, I apologize. I yeah. as, as uh, I'm embarrassed for I was at the game. I was in the stands, but I'm I, I, I should have known that. But is there? Can you remember? Because coaches will always say that there's not the coaches that that win and have this happen to them that there's no greater sound than boom. boom Boom! When you when you block punt. that yep. punt, and you can hear mm-hmm. it, and I can imagine you could hear that, but bump, but bump, but after that, you must have heard nothing. Nothing. The crowd went crazy. The sidelines went crazy. You know, we just jumping over every. We just jumping up all over the place. Uh, the fans went crazy. It was just an amazing moment. Uh, I definitely remember that like it was yesterday. Uh, so yeah, once you hear that double thump. Want the first thump come from the punter kicking it, and the yep. second thump come from Gleason blocking it. You know, so that was that was an amazing time. Even I knew a couple of guys that played for the Falcons, and after that game, they said they knew they really had no chance. They knew it. They said they was walking to a lines den, and they knew <laughs> what the atmosphere was going to be like. Uh, they they knew they knew going into the game that you know we don't have a chance to beat these guys, and especially once we got the block punt, it was over. For- That's the first Falcons game. We're going to take a break. 
And we're going to talk about the second Falcons game in 2006 as you played a significant role in that. Tell me about the play. I watched the video today, and it looks like it's video from the 1920s. I go, 2006 was not that long ago. This video should look better. Uh, amazing play. It ends up putting the t- Saints up 21-6 at, at the break and really was a, a dagger uh, for the Falcons. Tell me about that play. Breeze honestly threw the perfect ball. I didn't have to really uh, – jump up to get it tipped or anything like that to get it off a tip it it honestly came directly into my hands like it was just me and drew Brees throwing uh, the but the biggest thing i remember about that play that was my first touchdown scoring with with the saints so once i catch it i get up and try to spike it and reggie bush jumps on my back and messed my spike up <laughs> you know that was the biggest thing i remember from that play of course from from the celebration uh of course we celebrated the things like that but I just I missed the part about when Reggie Bush he jumped on my back and and messed my spike up. It's the things we remember, huh? It's the things we remember. It's so crazy. I'm lo- I'm looking at the play, and it's it's so odd because initially I thought they re- ruled Callaway a 48 yarder, which would have been identical, but it, they're they're saying that in the book it was 49. So the mm-hmm. the setup is trips right, but you're on the short yep. side of the field, so you're mm-hmm. part of the trips. Uh, you're yep. part of the three. Uh, wide receivers, and there's one to the left. Then this formation on yep. against Washington, same exact thing. Short side of the field, trips right, but Callaway is left. And it's on, when I say the similarities between the two, it's almost the same in that Drew threw it perfect. You didn't have to go up, catch it with your hands at its peak. Mm-mm. I won't say that Atlanta did a phenomenal job of defending it, and I won't say Washington did a phenomenal job of defending it. They're just unique plays you you must have almost felt like is this thing just gonna fall right in my lap because it did and that's that's exactly what it did but what a lot of people don't know is that hail marys are designed so it's not like we're just throwing it up down the field just go try to catch it everybody have a place they have to be in so you got one guy that's the jumper and then everybody else forms a box around him so if it gets tipped to the left or to the right or to the back we have somebody in place to make the play. So we're not just running down the field just to try to catch a ball. We go down the field. We got certain positions we have to get in. 